Hey, what's going on guys? This is Miosin. Today I'm actually going to be going over something extremely important that I feel a lot of people are just completely ignoring or overlooking or I don't even know if they're aware of how extremely relevant this is going to be. But this is new for the TCG actually, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Masterpiece Series, Platinum Blue Eyes White Dragon. And when you just look at the picture, you can pretty much see why this might actually be a really, really sought after collector thing in a couple of years. And this is actually supported due to this uh, intro introduction um, text that Konami themselves actually wrote, I think. So, so you wanted your own shiny collectible blue eyes? Well, I hope you have some deep pockets. Okay, actually, that's definitely not uh, what Konami said. <laughs> According to the North American site, this card is priced at a th $1,000 per customer. Again, we're going to see what this means uh, later on. So, okay, this is the Konami text. In 2021, a small number of duelists will be celebrating in style with a special all-metal blue eyes white dragon card. All right, limited to 1,000 initial copies. We're also going to kind of take a look at what this means later on. Duelist in North America and South America will be able in spring to order uh, the exclusive uh, collectible directly from us online. And now this is probably one of the most shocking things they've said. Made of 99.9% pure silver. So I'm no jewelry god, but I'm pretty sure pure silver isn't just silver. For example, in jewelry, you can't just say, oh yeah, my thing is made of silver, buy it for like 20,000, I swear to god, it's good quality. Silver doesn't mean anything at all. However, when we start talking about other kinds of silver, like sterling silver, we know that this is the one that's also made of uh, other... I, I don't really know the name in English, I kind of forgot, but I know sometimes it's like a composition of a certain percentage of silver and then another percentage of like kind of a garbage uh, something. I don't know, but it's not really the best quality, but pure silver is the fine silver that's usually made for jewelry, if I recall correctly. I think this is an, actually an acceptable standard for, um, I don't know, yeah, just for that. So this is actually kind of insane. So this is kind of nuts. This is already a lot of inherent value that you're getting into the card. However, one thing that I have to say is that, again, from my understanding on things, pure silver has pretty garbage, um, durability so pretty much uh, the moment you take this off of the cover of, of the case the card will probably lose such a ridiculous amount of value that it's not even going to be getting you either your money back or any profit so definitely gotta watch out anyways burnished to a platinum colored finish and encased in a protective brick of acrylic at a thousand dollars each these cards are not for everyone of course orders will be limited to one per customer again this is one of the most insane things about this so what I can already imagine in my head is that Yu-Gi-Oh! vendors, people who either have official OTS stores or not even, people who just have online businesses, will probably ask their friends and family members, yeah, can you can you actually buy it for me? I'm gonna give you the money, but uh, can you buy it for me? And usually when people do that, it's not because, oh, they just like collecting cards for fun. It's because they see the value inside of this and they see that this is actually going to be a pretty insanely expensive piece of art in the future and I'm not really saying this just to actually kind of I don't know promote Konami or whatever in any sort of way even though you know I'm not you know against it <laughs> if they pay me and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding uh, but uh, actually there was a card 10,000 Dragon that when we first saw it we didn't really have any reasons to believe that this would be relevant getting a lot of value uh, as a matter of fact, I even saw some listings for like 800 or something on initial release. They were just like, oh yeah, just a, a card that's hard to pull, but that's it, you know, whatever. But no, that's, uh, it's it's a bit more than that, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually going for a lot of money now. And I've even seen, uh, I saw some people actually try to sell 10,000 for like 2 or 4k. Of course, that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, I can imagine if you're trying to sell for like 2k to someone who's really desperate, or someone who like, I don't know, offered something but never really had the card, so he's kind of screwed and he has to buy the card now just for the customer. But this is a lot man a lot of money for one single card just because it's discontinued it's really hard to get your uh, your hands on it and even if you can it's not like you could get a lot of them because it's limited to one per customer and on top of that 
Uh, it's limited to 1,000 initial copies, and it says Duelist in North America and South America will be able in spring. Now, uh, of course, there is pretty much... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's another... Um, uh, th there's also that for Europe, so this would be... Now, I'm, I'm also also kind of shocked at this. The recommended retail price is a thousand euros, but a thousand euros is uh, it's kind of uh, it's it's way more than a thousand dollars. So one thousand U.S. dollars is around like thirteen hundred Canadian. A thousand euros would be around fifteen hundred Canadian. So you can already see the conversion rate. So. I don't know if they're going to charge Canadian players or people who live in Canada like 1500 a thousand or thirteen hundred so the the price definitely matters and depending on where you live this also matters so I don't really know but again this is ridiculous limited to 1000 initial copies duelist in Europe Middle East Africa and Oceania will be able to order this exclusive uh, collectible this spring details where you can place blah blah, blah available in due course uh, again and also this will be releasing summer 2021 but you are actually going to be ordering this in spring 2021 which is already kind of soon to be honest so starting from maybe I don't know is it April or May I don't know what's what officially would be the first uh, date to you know start ordering these cards but what I can tell you is that this is going to be a race against a lot of people because a thousand initial copies against all of those vendors against those vendors who were probably going to ask other people to buy for them people who just already drown in money so the red, the rich are definitely get rich, are going to get richer with this, and since this is like a thousand or fifteen hundred or whatever dollar investment that you're spending, yeah, you're, you might actually kind of get discouraged from even spending the money on this on the first place. But just when you see other kind of examples of cards that just never really lost value over time, like this is the DDS Blue Eyes. Uh, people initially weren't really aware or didn't really think this is not DDS by the way <laughs> this is uh this is garbage uh, DIY I mean it looks cool but it's it's obviously not a real card but yeah people weren't really like oh yeah I'm going to buy a bunch of DDS blue eyes and maybe in 20 years I'm going to be rich but the thing is if you have this thought process if you had that thought process before you actually would have been rich now and if you have this thought process right now if you have it right now you're going to be rich in the future so this is just the way I see it. This is going to be an investment that's going to pay very, very well for you. So if you can buy this, and again, don't do anything with the case. Just keep it as it is. You receive it, you hide it in like somewhere really safe in your house. Nobody can ever touch it. Don't try to, I don't know, destroy the case just to get the card. The card won't be worth anything. The really, the extremely important thing here is the card inside the cover so it's kind of like as a set it's worth something but single like individually speaking it's it's not going to be worth anything it's probably going to be even less than half honestly and i'm not really speaking of much experience but uh <laughs> i mean one of my uh, best friends is actually um, an owner of card brawlers well i mean the owner the only one so you know he does know quite a bit about this so this is why i try to i try to stay uh, interested but yeah i don't know what you guys think about all of that i think personally it's crazy and i think there's again a lot of money to be made here so definitely let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below don't forget of course to like and subscribe because it motivates me a lot to keep making a bunch of videos on a lot of topics so that's it thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time peace